How's it going guys? It is already here and it's time for episode number 27 of our Colorado Avalanche BAGM mode. Yes, that's right. I haven't done this in a while, but uh, as you can see, what we're going to do is I'm thinking it's this is going to be the last season. So we made a couple big trades here that might have helped us for the future. But what I decided to do is we're going to finish off the season. So I'm going to go through this uh, the rest of the season in one episode. Uh, and we'll have playoffs. I'll upload these once a day starting on the 26th and hopefully we can get through everything. And we'll start up a new GM mode where you guys will be able to vote on the franchise or I'll do a custom GM mode. But uh, if you guys are watching this and you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I just want to say this at the start of the video because if you are watching the start, then you'll hear this by the end. I bet you most people don't watch it. But anyways, yeah, so let's get back into this uh, GM mode. And uh, it's been a long time uh, since I uh, did go through this, but we did make quite a bit of uh, trades to improve our team and anyways let's take a look at our uh, contract situation as of right now in terms of overall uh, on the forward spot we got McKinnon and Richie just dominating uh, then we got Yakubov in there with Laniscog and Shen and O'Reilly Ferraro Heatley Ernie McGinn Hartman LeBlanc and those are our main forwards then in the system we've got a uh, hopeful who we sent down to the minors 79 overall uh, 19 year old uh, pretty good player in my opinion we did trade Andrew Ladd for him so it was a quite a bit of a, a price to pay but hopefully our team is good enough to uh, help us to make it to the uh, Stanley Cup Finals once again we also did trade away Tyler Myers for uh, Lucas Trevelyan here he's a British player 22 years old 86 overall pretty good player defensive demon not the best puck skills not the best offensive awareness but he's got a great shot and a pretty good defensive player uh, overall and in that we do have still Robin Lehner who's just carrying us so far this year so anyways let's go into uh, we'll keep simming uh, pretty much right now we're 41 18 and 4 uh, going into the trade deadline and the funny thing is I did see something uh, weird here on terms of look at that Philadelphia acquired Matt D'Agostini and right wing Pavel Bure <laughs> so they took back his name from uh, the past and as you can see we did trade away Daryl Hopeful and a second pick to uh, from Florida and we uh I traded away Andrew Ladd, so we did pick up a hopeful and a second round pick. We traded away Andrew Ladd to Colorado, so a good player that helped us win the cup last year. Uh, but unfortunately, he's gone. But And then we also picked up Treble Yan and Danny Heatley for uh, Tyler Myers and Anders Lee. So we did improve our forward from Heat, from Lee to Heatley, but we did downgrade from Myers to Treble Yan. But Treble Yan is definitely a good player to have in the future. So I guess we will sim to the end of the season. Right now we're looking at about, if I've got my math right, about 19 games left or 29. Uh, I'm going to say 19, but I'm not 100% sure. But uh, we're going to sim ahead to the end of the season. It might just be a little bit of a shorter episode on this one, but uh, last one was really long. I could have made it a bit longer, but might as well just keep going. But anyways, uh, trade deadline, we're going to continue because we don't have anybody else to uh, move around. I like how our team set up. First game with our new team without Lad, without Myers. Let's see how it goes here. And it's a 2 nothing shutout loss to the Flyers. Not what we want to see uh, right after the uh, trades that we made. But here we go. Game against the Pittsburgh Penguins on the road. Let's take a look at, look at that 8-1. to one. So back back to where we should be. A dominant effort over the Penguins. Now game against the Capitals against Ovechkin. Let's see what the result is going to be. On the road here, 2-1 loss, unfortunately, but we're back at home for two here against the Jets on a Sunday, and then the Dallas Stars on the Tuesday here. Let's take a look how we do against the Jets, and we're going to lose that one 3-1. So, so far, we lost 3 out of 4 since that trade. Not a good way to start off here. Game against the Dallas Stars, who now have Duchesne and another loss. So, our team is not looking good at all as of right now after those trades. Here we go. Game against the Nashville Predators, and on the road here, and we're going to finally win that one 4-3. So, about time here. Uh, later on, we're going to go into game against Calgary. And what's going to happen here? We're at home. Got Berchi with 29 goals and a loss, unfortunately, once again. So those trades might have helped us for the future. But as of right now, uh, this year, after those trades, it's not looking bright at all. We are playing amazing hockey and all of a sudden just spiraling down. Let's try to get it back here. Yes, we do. A win against the San Jose Sharks. Now a game against Calgary Flames. Another loss for two. So all of a sudden... Uh, we've probably dropped down a little bit in the standings, unfortunately, but uh, hopefully we can pick it right back up in the playoffs. We're only four points behind. We do have some game in hands, games in hand 
Uh, ten games left in the season for us, and we're only four points behind Toronto, but they have three games in hand. So that's uh, definitely a thing to uh, look out for. Let's take a look at the goals for per game. We're on fifth, so that's pretty good. First in goals against. Power play percentage, fourth, pretty good. And then the penalty kill is fourth as well. So we're all around the top for everything, pretty much. Our last ten have not been good at all, though. So hopefully we could turn that around by the end of the season. Well, I guess we'll just sim it right to the end and uh, see who we're going to be facing in the playoff round. It'll just be a quick episode, but uh, I'll make sure to have an episode a day just to get the series out. And if you guys have any ideas of what teams I should do or any custom modes, like a, like how uh, AJB does a Star Wars GM mode or Bojo does his uh, YouTubers GM mode, if you have any ideas similar to that, uh, just where I could create players and start off with that, that'd be great. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know once again. Here gaming against the Minnesota Wild. We did lose that one, the last one on the week. Gaming against the Minnesota Wild, and we do win it finally 3-1, to one, so nice job by our team there. McKinnon's already hit 43 assists, nice to see that. Gaming against the Jets here, who have a pretty strong, strong team, we're going to win 4-2 as well. Gaming against the Vancouver Canucks, we got to win this one, and we do. So look at that, three wins in a row. Nice to see our team starting to get back heated up for the uh, playoffs. Game against the uh, Ducks there, another win, 3 nothing shutout finally. So all of a sudden we've won four in a row. Let's keep going into uh, April as of right now. And we have, I think, I'm going to say around five more games left here. Game against the uh, LA Kings and finally another win. So look at that, we're starting to climb it up. We've already hit 100 points so far this year, so that's great to see. Uh, now a game against the St. Louis Blues. Let's take a look, and I lost 2-1, unfortunately. And hopefully we can bounce back on the road here. And we don't. We get shut out by the Blues. Uh, so unfortunately there, we don't aren't able to pick up any points from the Blues. Uh, but with two games left in the uh, season, hopefully uh, we can get those two wins and hit 50 wins at least. Uh, 51 would be great as well, but... I wouldn't mind 50 at all. Anyways, Yakubov, let's see if you could get two uh, 30 goals. Take a look at the scouting report real quick. Uh, don't think there's any uh, players with heat. Whoa, look at that. It was a fourth round or three potential. Uh, there's a four and a half here. Defenseman from the OHL. Uh, we'll update the scouting there. And we'll sim the rest of the two games. Let's just uh, sim against the next two games here for the end of the season. And then we'll wrap this episode up. Game here against the Chicago Blackhawks, who do not have that great of a record, uh, even though they did win the, win the Cup a couple years back. 3-4-3 three, three win. Nice job. We hit 50 wins. Let's try to hit 51 here to end off the season. On the right note, against Dallas, and we don't. We lose 2 nothing and shut out once again. But anyways, Yakpov's hit 30 goals, so a nice season for him. Team's looking pretty good. Let's sim ahead to see who we're going to be facing in the playoff uh, round here in the first round. And that team is the Winnipeg Jets. So they finished 40, 31, and 11. The GM, GM uh, the owner loves my GM skills so far, so that's good. And we're going to be facing off against the Winnipeg Jets. Let's take a look at how our AHL team did. Very well as well. 50, 20, and 6. Fritch with 37 goals. He's still playing really well. Uh, Pock with 48 assists. But uh, this series against the Winnipeg Jets should be entertaining. We've went a couple uh, seven-game series, and uh, I guess we'll wrap up this episode. It was a really qu short one, but uh, I'll be back. I'll upload uh, the Winnipeg Jets series episode uh, later tonight. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the first round.